guys, this is Shannon from Skip To My Life. In today's episode, I'm going to show you some super easy, super affordable Easter DIYs. Let's get going. If you love to live an upscale lifestyle on a downsized budget, I am here for you at Skip To My Life. For this first Easter DIY, I'm using this sign I purchased for a dollar at Dollar Tree. Now it's very cute on its own, but we are gonna take the cuteness factor up even more. I purchased a package of the twine carrots from Dollar Tree and to my amazement, they fit perfectly when hot glued on these three little carrots on the sign. Next, I'll make a simple bow to embellish the handle using two different kinds of ribbon. The first is an orange check ribbon I purchased during the fall at Dollar Tree, and the second is a green jute twine I also purchased at Dollar Tree. I recently did a survey on my Facebook channel, and many of you said you would like a simple bow tutorial, so I am going to make that video coming up. Comment below and let me know what types of bows you would love to learn how to make. I purchased this jute twine a long time ago, not knowing exactly how I would use it. And I will tell you that it comes in handy for so many craft projects and for a dollar, you just can't go wrong. I've also used it a lot to tie things up in my garden. So I recommend if you stumble onto this that you pick some of it up. I decided I needed something extra for those carrots, so I went ahead and made some tassels from the jute twine to match the little bow at the top. And you can just do this as full or as thin as appeals to you, and it is super simple. You could just tie them on or glue gun them on and then give them a little haircut. If you're new to Skip To My Life, welcome. It's so good to have you here today. And if you're coming back, if you're already a subscriber, welcome back. For our next super simple project, I am using a styrofoam bunny from Dollar Tree, some tissue paper I have left over from Christmas presents, and some regular school glue. This is a super simple project to do with kids, grandkids, or family members. And I will tell you, it's easier if you put the little bunny on a shish kebab stick and just cut those pieces of tissue paper into smaller lengths and simply decoupage them on. To make that bunny ear really stand out, I just applied some white out in the outline section of that ear. And then I added a bright pink bow left over from a Christmas present my sister gave me this year. The fun thing about working with these styrofoam forms is that they really look like they're high end, but you can push florals and all kinds of decorative elements into that foam and it really holds very well. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not great at making a perfect circle freehand, so I just glued a very small black button on for the eyes and nose, and then I filled in those buttonholes with just a little bit of black paint. For our next super simple Easter DIY, we're using a wooden cross from Dollar Tree, a paper bag, and also I printed out the words to the song, the hymn, Amazing Grace. I just Googled Amazing Grace lyrics. So you could choose your favorite Easter song or hymn. It doesn't have to be the one that I used. Next, I'm using the same technique as I did for the bunny to decoupage on that paper bag. And when it is complete, it looks like this. 
Let me know if you're enjoying this video by clicking that thumbs up like button. If you haven't subscribed already, we would love to have you join our community here at Skip to My Life. You may have noticed that I used a nail file as a piece of sandpaper just to rough up those edges and make the cross look a little bit more weathered before I go ahead and decoupage the words to the hem on the front. The question of the day is, do you have a favorite Easter song or hymn? If you do, share it in the comments below. I would love to hear your traditions or memories surrounding Easter. To make this piece look a little bit more polished, I am painting the base of it green and then I am cutting around the cross to make a backing and to cover some of that decoupage paper. Dollar Tree sometimes carries this type of moss, but I wasn't able to find it this time. I did purchase this package for $3.50 at Walmart, and I will tell you the quality of the moss was great, and I felt like it was a really generous supply for that price. To finish off the look, we're going to add some moss around the base and then we'll just embellish it with some silk tulips I had on hand in my flower stash. If you notice some of my backgrounds changing from project to project, I apologize. We were in the part of the country that had that giant snowstorm last week. So while I was filming this, we were moving back and forth from my in-laws to check on them and then back home. And so I kind of had to be flexible with my filming. For this next project, I decided to use a tree that I had left from Christmas and I had just used it for Valentine's and I decided to turn it into an Easter tree. So as some of you know, some of those little trees from Dollar Tree are a little bit spindly. So to fill it out, I used a loofah that I had used and cleaned from my bath and had seen better days. And I was really happy with the way that it filled this little tree out. You could really use any color, including white. And then I put some little string lights around. Dollar Tree is featuring these beautiful little felt cutout flowers and they're calling them coasters. I honestly don't think they would protect your furniture very well because they have these wide open spaces, but they make beautiful little glittered covered decorations for our tree. And as you can see, I had lots of fun with the glitter as I love to do. Next, I'll be using the Styrofoam Small Monies and Easter Eggs and also this packet of 10 pieces of tissue paper from Dollar Tree. If I'm doing a project like this where I want different patterns that match each other, the tissue paper packets are such an excellent value because they've already coordinated the colors and patterns for you. I learned the hard way that once these little styrofoam pieces have glue on them, they are extremely slippery and hard to work with. So save yourself some frustration and get a little shish kebab stick to mount those on before you start to decoupage that tissue paper. If you don't have these styrofoam pieces like I'm using, this would be a great project to upcycle some old Easter decorations you have and just recover them with a more up-to-date color scheme or even something you find at a thrift store or a garage sale. Here's what these pieces look like after they had dried and all I did to finish these up was add little gray eyes to the bunnies and then I used some of that kitchen twine from Dollar Tree, made a little loop to hang them from the tree and added a blue gem. If you're a subscriber, you may know that I am back from a two week break where I was planning all kinds of spring fun for you including simplifying our wardrobes, cleaning out our clothing closets, and lots of spring DIYs.
If you're enjoying this video, let me know by clicking that like thumbs up button. If you want an ultra simple project that is within your budget and looks extremely high end, this one is for you. Purchase a candle making kit from the Dollar Tree. It comes with this glass candle and wick, as well as three different wax packets. I'm showing you three eggshells that I use just from my baking and making breakfast and the top to a water bottle. Now, if you run out of wick, which I did, I simply melted down one of those taper Dollar Tree candles and I will show you how I added that wick. To assemble this high-end looking candle, you'll just put a little dab of hot glue on your water bottle cap place the eggshell on top of that cap and then place the wick in the center of the eggshell now a shish kebab comes in really handy because if you're like me i did not want to touch this with my fingers and risk breaking that fragile eggshell to use your extra wick simply get a piece of aluminum foil as the base for the wick and glue it down on that eggshell just like we did the others the white wax did not show up really well on camera so i'm going to show you the method again with the blue wax and you can see all i'm doing is just pouring those little wax crumbs into the eggshell this would make such a beautiful place setting for your easter table this next Easter DIY uses three ramekins from the Dollar Tree. Now these come in a package of three for a dollar. So this is an incredible value. And all I did was paint them with chalk paint. One is pink, one is off white, and the other is gray. We're going to end up distressing these and giving them kind of a country French look. So I used some of the contact paper from Dollar Tree and that beautiful black and white French floral. Now I'm simply distressing around the edges and outside of the ramekin with a dry brush technique. For the gray ramekin, I used the off-white paint and then for the other two lighter colors, I used the gray paint. Next, I'll be using these three moss-covered bunnies from Dollar Tree. They are perfect size and texture for our project, but as you can see, they need to be lightened up just a little bit so that they show up better in these ramekins. So I use the dry brush technique again with the off-white chalk paint. To be honest with you, when I was done with the project, I kind of wished I had made them even lighter and added even more paint. You all be the judge and let me know what you think. Does it look just right to you or would you go ahead and add more white paint? To embellish these bunnies, I'll be adding a cute bow to their neck with some of the kitchen twine and also a bright pink wooden bead that I'll distress with a little white paint. These would be adorable place markers for your Easter day celebration, and they would be even cuter with a person's name or a little scripture verse written inside, but I decided to make them into magnets, so I glued a Dollar Tree magnet to the back of each ramekin, and it holds really well. I love when I can squeeze out even more value at Dollar Tree, and so getting three of these ramekins for a dollar I thought was such a great deal. I will definitely be using these more in the future. You could definitely leave these as is, but to up the cuteness factor just a little bit more, I added some sprigs of greenery and some of those white styrofoam berries. 
Comment below and let me know your Easter plans for this year. Are you planning a very small celebration or what do you have in mind? For this last project, I was inspired by a beautiful Mackenzie Childs sculpture that cost over $200. I don't know about you, but that's a little out of my Easter budget. So we're going to dupe it with one of the large eggs from Dollar Tree, as well as the small plastic dessert dishes. These dishes are very thin and also quite fragile. So I began by gluing three of them together to provide a more solid base. If you're having fun watching this video, let me know by clicking the like thumbs up button. I have so many fun ideas for you this spring, so don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'm using another of those foam bunnies and painting directly onto the foam with some off-white chalk paint, as well as the clear plastic bowls. Now, both of these items took the chalk paint really well, but when I went to paint this large plastic egg, it just would flake every kind of paint I would try. So I went back and sanded the finish off of that egg to make it a little bit more porous for the paint. To add a shadow effect on this rabbit and make it look a bit more 3D, I filled in some of the spaces and creases with gray chalk paint. Once that was dry, I went over it again with the white chalk paint. And so you can see the effect is just a little shadow in the creases of that bunny. As I told you before, I'm not great at freehanding a perfect circle. So I glued a tiny black button on each side for his eyes. And then I just brushed on three eyelashes with a very thin paintbrush. To be honest, I was really nervous about doing this, but then I just told myself if it didn't work out, I could paint over it and try again. And I was so happy with the effect. I think it really topped this project off well. After I had embellished that egg with some of the McKinsey Child's trademark stripes, I embellished it with some ribbon, and now I am ready to top it off with my bunny. Sometimes floral foam can be tricky to get to stick on smooth surfaces, so I learned this little trick from a florist. Just leave the plastic packaging on the foam and you'll have a lot better luck getting it to stick to your plastic. I think you can tell by my workspace that I had a lot of fun decorating this guy. The messier my workspace is, the more fun I'm having. I picked this striped ribbon up at Michael's after Christmas and it was a little too wide for the bunny's neck. So I did trim it down just a bit and added some Easter eggs that I had on hand as well as some florals. Thanks so much for coming along today and don't forget, comment below and let me know which project was your very favorite. Please subscribe so you get all the ideas I have coming up for you for spring decor. And until next time, this is Shannon from Skip To My Life. Make it a great day.